Today, I'm talking again about putting protein in your soup. I've just made the most delicious soup with onions, kale, broccoli, peas, um, and it's absolutely bright, vibrant green. So it's a great way of eating lots of vegetables and upping your fiber. My name is Dominique Ludwig and I'm a nutritionist. But you do need to add the protein to fill you up all afternoon and stop you from wanting to snack from three o'clock onwards before your dinner, because then you end up eating more than you would have eaten anyway. So soup and bread don't fill us up. Soup and protein do because they carry the protein and the fats. So you can throw whatever you want in here. I've thrown in some um, pumpkin seeds that I've just toasted in a pan. So I've got about 70 grams of them. And then I've got some goat's cheese that I just actually toasted on the side at the same time. I grilled it on the side or fried it really. And then I added some crispy kale that I just popped in the air fryer while I was plating up the soup, as you do. Um, but it could be anything you throw in your soup. You may want to put a tin of beans in there. You could fry up some halloumi into little squares and make halloumi croutons. You could do the same with tofu. That's a spicy sriracha tofu. You could put mozzarella balls on the top. Again, they'll melt in and they'll be delicious, particularly in things like pumpkin soup. You might have a bag of lentils that you just throw in there too for extra protein, or like I've done, just toast up some seeds. So whatever you do, add the protein to your soup and see how it fills you up for longer.